so I know I said uh, I'm gonna do another video next week, but I just realized I was watching my first video for the Pinoy Author Tube, and or I just actually realized that I'm already selling my book to you, and you don't even know who the hell I am. So I did this video so that you can get to know me better. So I got a bunch of questions that I can answer. And then if you have more questions, I can definitely answer through the comment section. So let's do this. Okay, so the first question is, how did you find out about AuthorTube? So I found out about AuthorTube since I wanted to be a self-publishing author. I, I, did a, I did some research through YouTube like most of us do, and then stumbled upon a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of AuthorTube channels, like Alexa Dunn, she's one of my favorite, uh, uh, iWriter Lee, and also Daniel Green. Um, so I, was, I got to thinking that they were able to uh, create an audience, uh, and then, you know, in the end, they, they'll be able to promote their book um, through that audience. But most of it is really wanted to be part of this community, the author tube community. I think it's it's a great it's a great avenue for other authors or writers um, to to exchange ideas and also have a discussion. And who doesn't want a discussion? A creative discussion. So next question is what genres do you write in? I write in sci-fi fantasy. I love the the creativity that goes behind it. Not that I'm saying that like other genres are not creative. All of them are creative, but but the I guess what I'm trying to say is the process of creating a world, creating uh, a non-existing world that's 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 beyond reality. That's why it's called uh, fantasy. Uh, but yeah, but it, it's it's uh, it's sci-fi and fantasy. Okay, uh, next question is preferred writing tense, point of view, and category. So I love writing in third person um, and always in past tense. In category, I don't know if my upcoming book, The Shadow Immortals, is considered as young adult fiction. I, but I think it's going to be adult because there are some points of view that are very, very adult. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not Harry Potter, definitely. The, the book isn't like any, anything like Harry Potter. It's not that wholesome. It's very dark, almost dystopian-like, actually. Okay, so, so I, I think it's going to be adult fiction. Adult fiction. Are you a plotter or a panster? I'd like to think that I'm a plotter, but once I plotted the the outline, I tend to veer away from the from the plots that I've already uh, created. So I tend to change things up. I can be considered as a planster, a combination of a plotter and a panster. Next question is: My book is called. Uh, the Shadow Immortals. It's it's about a boy searching for his mother uh, in a desolate planet called Ekon. It's a desert. It's heavily, heavily influenced by Dune, one of my favorite books. Um, so it's a desert planet, and he's looking for his mother um, because of a tragedy uh, that happened. I don't want to spoil it for you. And then uh, he meets a lot of a lot of you know new friends and foes and then discovers a power that can influence the entire world the entire planet of Ekon and its culture okay so that's what it's called it's going to be out uh, uh, in December 2020 yes okay so what kind of author to videos to expect from me okay um, there are tons of AuthorTube creators already there in YouTube uh, out there. So you get it's most of my videos will be about sci-fi and fantasy. So it's very similar to Daniel Green, who is very successful in. in I don't know if it if Daniel Green is an author to consider it, but but he is writing a novel. From what I from what I remember, yeah. So so a lot of tips on how to world build 
probably a day in the life of my journey when when it comes to writing my my novel the shadow immortals probably a lot of collaborations with different authors with the community that i'm in right now which uh by the way i'm from the philippines there's not a lot of filipino author tubers uh, i've seen in youtube correct me if i'm wrong i just can't find one i try typing pinoy author tube and then it, it's my first video my video is the first one to come out. So I'm really happy to be doing this. Um, maybe we can also be doing uh, book reviews, stuff that I've read, okay? And then give you my thoughts about it. So next question, when did you start writing? Back in high school, I'm not gonna say how many years ago <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm almost old. Uh, if there's such a thing. So I started writing when I was in high school. I, I joined the journalism club, but I didn't really take it seriously because I was in so many clubs. Like I was I was a class president for, for, for my section. I was a CAT officer by the third year. I was in glee club. I was in theater club. And then I was in journalism club. So there were a lot of clubs and then probably journalism was my least um, priority back then. But that's when I started writing. Since the, why, why did it take a lot of years from high school till now to, for me to come up with my debut, debut novel? It's because I have a day job. And then I actually started writing five years ago, but my first, my supposedly first novel files got deleted. So I had to start all, all over again. And then, but when I wanted to start again, um, I lost my momentum. So just last year, I joined a self-publishing mentoring program by Paper Cat Books. I'll leave the description, the link down below uh, in the video description. Uh, if you're curious on how to start your self-publishing journey. So I went back writing again last year, 2019, and then the pandemic happened. And then I just continued writing until I, I'm now I'm almost finished with my first novel. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> pretty, pretty excited. Okay. So next question, I'm looking at my computer because the questions are here. What authors inspired your writing? I have two favorite books. Okay, so the first one is Fahrenheit by Ray Bradbury. It's not sci-fi, it's actually dystopian. Dystopian, you know, post-apocalyptic. So I really love the, the writing style and he really inspired me to write this way. And yeah, I love this book, you should read it. Next is Frank Herbert's Dune, which my debut no novel is heavily, heavily influenced by this book. Thank you very much, Frank Herbert. So I love this book. I love the series. You better read this. Okay? It's thick. It's really thick. Right. Next question. Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you can find the time? By the way, these questions are, are, are from um, Alexa Dunn. Uh, I've seen her author to newbie tag video and, you know, it, it was a great way to start this. It was a good guide <laughs> and I love her video. She's, she's super honest. Um, I highly recommend that you watch her videos. Alexa Dunn. I'll provide the link in the video description if you're interested also. But please do subscribe to mine if you if you find it interesting. Okay, so do you schedule your writing sessions? Um, I'm, I'm not the type of person who consistently writes. I'm a very moody person. I'm, I'm a Piscean, so I, I, can't, I can't seem to have like a daily habit of writing. So I'm very moody. I, I set, I have to set my environment uh, for me to be in the mood to write. I know, I know, it's, 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 I'm such a diva sometimes when it comes to writing. Um, I want, uh, I, what I do is I play fantasy, epic fantasy music from YouTube and then I need that background music so that I get things going and then, and then I start writing. All right, next question. Do you type on a computer? <laughs> yeah, ta-da. <laughs> Typewriter, write everything out by hand or use a blend of those. It's 2020, so I'm using a computer. Obviously, as you can see here, I'm using a computer. 
if I had a typewriter, I would use a typewriter as well, but not all the time. Probably 95% or 99% I'd be on the computer. I mean, that would be the most efficient way for me to, to write my novel. By hand, no, I don't have the patience to write by hand. I don't have the strength to write by hand. I do take notes, though, by hand, uh, sometimes in the computer. But um, I do have a small notebook, uh, and then I write my ideas there. But, but, but when I get in front of a computer, I transfer my, my handwritten notes to my computer. So, yeah, so it's like 99, no, yeah, 100% in the computer. I use the computer. Okay, what are you most looking forward to now that you're part of, uh, of author two? The co like Alexa Dunn said, the community, because she's, she's right. It's, it's the community here. And I can't wait to collaborate with other authors, uh, interview other authors here in the Philippines, because I don't think the Philippines is represented uh, when it comes to author two. I may be wrong, okay? This is as of November 9, 2020. I may be wrong. If you do know uh, some author tubers out there that are Filipinos or are in the Philippines, please let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So there, I just wanted you guys to know a little bit more about me. Uh, I didn't want, I just realized because my first video, it was a bit of a hard sell to just, you know, just buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. So I didn't want to do that. And I just wanted to start over. So there, I hope you guys subscribe and I can't wait to do more videos. Thank you and see you soon.